Okay, we are at uh, 52 10 Natrona. And uh, Tim is here. We're going to talk to Tim about uh, this back porch because the back porch is a major issue. Actually, it came on a good day because it's rain, so you can see all the water. You got a high boy sitting out in the rain? Oh my god. Well, you see, this is just when it rains real hard, you can see the water. It just comes down. It just comes straight down. I tried flashing, tried caulking. It's still. It needs to be torn off. Yeah, and I mean, like, I literally have wedges driven underneath it so I can get out of the, in and out of the door. Yeah, I remember you did this last year yeah. just to keep it from falling anymore. Yeah, I mean, I have it up like, it's about like <clears throat> two inches I got it up, so. Yeah, this is this has got to go. This siding, like, this siding's been like this for years. Yeah, but this whole porch is probably got to go. Oh, you, kept, you have a camera up here now. Yeah. Huh? What else should we... Um, be concerned about looking at. <laughs> you might have an actual bathroom light again. I've had a temporary light for who knows how four, five years. For real? Yeah. Yeah, we got the store. The door just seems clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I threw that up real cheap. Is that just that just? It sounded like it was gonna burn up. <laughs> it was flickering and making all kinds of humming noises. So I just disconnected it and wired this to it. So. The realtor or somebody, whoever came in, said that uh, you have a ceiling that's falling down or something. Was it here or was it Vets? My bedroom ceiling is about to fall out. That's what she said. What the hell? Show me. I mean, these are things that have to be fixed immediately. Like, that's going to drop. You can oh, see the track already popped. I guess whatever plaster up there fell, it's holding for now. Who knows for how long? Yeah. Oh man, what do we do there? I pull all the tiles, re wire, reach. Well, if you can save the track and get the tiles out of bending the track out, you just have to uh, wire the track back up to the ceiling and get it level again. And you're probably going to destroy the tiles taking them out, so you need new tiles. I would just go straight frame over this. Or you could just frame it and drywall it. Why not? By time, it's at that point. That's that's a way you, better idea. It's price wise return. You're better off. I replace some tiles here than flat. Well, yeah, it, for a sale, it would have to be done in drywall anyway. Yeah, like this, I replace these tiles. These collapse through. Um, this one looks like it's about to. Yeah. And then this. Oh, whoa! That one's getting real bad. What's causing it? Uh, it's just the, moisture. The, the plaster from the old ceilings yeah. dropping on it. Is it? So I guarantee this one weighs about eight hundred pounds. Oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. Oh, okay. So we got to talk about framing these whole ceilings. So the ceilings there. need redone. Um, need a small dumpster. Yeah. And then I'll show John here the kitchen, which I can. <laughs> I can't get small dumpsters. I can get the fifteen-yard uh, driveway roll-offs, but they're almost the same price as a forty. That's why. They're like a hundred dollars less than a forty. That's why the company I go through only has. Um, 20s and 40s. That's it. Because really, who uses a 10? Yeah. You might as well get a, one of those um, dumpster bags. Yeah. Bagsters. Yeah, okay, so here's our kitchen. Uh, no exhaust, man, so I constantly got to scrub grease off the walls. and. Uh, no exhaust. That's so easy to put. Yeah, just punch just it right here. right there. Be real easy. I ran powered over the stove, so there's power here. So. Yeah, these cabinets are 1,000 years old. Yeah. Countertops. But like I said. Fridge is leaking. Somehow, that... One outlet there that the fridge is plugged into is connected to one outlet bedroom. in my bedroom. So oh. sometimes, like if I have the AC on, yeah. it'll it kick everything off and shut the fridge off. We got to run this to a home run. Re refrigerator, by law, needs to be it's on its supposed to be. be on its own break. Yep, so. 14.2 on its own line. Yeah, so, I mean, that's just... <clears throat> so okay. things like that don't happen. If I'm, if I'm at home, the AC kicks it off. I come home and our food's, you know... Destroyed. I mean? Yeah. Especially in the summer. Yeah. Um, anything in the basement we should know um, about? One pipes. <coughs> pipes. Okay. Uh, it is. Uh, this is the clean out for the surf main. Oh surf yeah. Drain. Was leaking. Yeah. So we just put a new cap, or do we have to cut the I stack? I took the cap off, wrapped it with Teflon tape. There's not no blockages in it, but it's still leaking. I tightened as tight as I could get it, so I don't know. Cut the stack. I just cut the stack on, put a new stack and put yep. the best. But well, here's what I think the problem is. For some reason, 
there's a lateral coming off of here. Yeah. And it's not it's not a Y pipe, it's just a T. Yeah. So whatever water's going in there is backing up and sitting. Basically, whenever I get a shower, is when it was when it comes out because it's all that extra all the, the or I'm doing laundry soap and stuff. Yeah, or when I'm doing laundry, something and it goes in there because this doesn't go to anything. Just eliminate that and just put another clean out on and should fix all the problems. You just snapped it. This is PVC already. Yeah. Or it's uh it's yeah, ABS. ABS. Yeah. Just painted it ABS. Yeah. That's nothing. Needs, that's cheap. Yeah. That's like five bucks. You, you know? buy the pipe. All right. Anything else now? Furnace yeah, works. Furnace works. Water air works. They're 800 years old, but they work. So. Okay. Well, I'll go to the next. U so I was going to put that vinyl laminate down. Yeah, this VST stuff shouldn't crack like that. But. Yeah, but it just. Oh, oh well, there's, there's that, a bounce yeah, to the yeah, floor. Yeah, it cracks when it bounces. Yeah, there's a bounce to the floor there. So. All right, I'm going to go. All right, we're coming up on 5212 now. Uh, they really needed a screen door. <laughs> They've been needing one. This is what the street's looking like now. Hasn't changed too much. These guys just sold. I believe they sold this house. Hopefully someone opens the door for me here.